Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the characteristics of a DC motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. The characteristics of DC motor is discussed in the three different quantities. The first one is armature torque, second one armature current and third one is speed. So based on the three parameters armature torque, armature current and speed we can categorize the three different characteristics. The first one is the armature torque versus armature current. It is called a electrical characteristics. Second one is speed versus armature current. The third one is speed versus armature torque. That is called a mechanical characteristics. These three characteristics are given by the two different equations, two different relations. Ta is directly proportional to pi into Ia. Armature torque is proportional to flux into armature current. The second one, N is directly proportional to Eb by pi. Speed is proportional to back M of divided by back M and inversely proportional to flux. So, based on that, we can analyze the characteristics of a DC motor. First, we will go to the series motor, characteristics of a series motor. So, the first characteristic is armature torque versus armature current, Ta versus Ia. So, we know that Ta is directly proportional to pi into Ia, that is the basic relation. But in case of in case of the series motor, pi is directly proportional to Ia. There are two cases available before saturation and after saturation. First, we will see the before saturation. Before saturation, normal case. The pi is also directly proportional to Ia because in series motor, field, field coil, armature, load all are connected in series. Same current is flowing through the field also. So, that pi is directly proportional to Ia. So, that T equal to T A equal to pi into I A. So, the pi is replaced by I A into I A. So, I A square. So, T A is directly proportional to I A square. So, the torque is directly proportional to square of the armature current. So, that is nothing but when the armature, when the armature current increases, the torque will increase in a parabolic manner like this, not a linear parabolic manner. So, that is given by this. This is similar to the equation of parabola y equal to mc square y equal to m x square so x increases in a parabolic in a increases the y increase in a parabolic manner so the curve will be in a parabola it's not a linear it is in a parabolic manner series motor used where high starting torque is required for accelerating heavy masses like quickly as in the case of crane host electric trains. So, the series motor using for high starting torque. It is started with a loaded condition. That is a very, very important point. It is started with the loaded condition. So, after saturation, after saturation means the machine attain the full speed. The pi is independent of Ia. Previously, when Ia increases, pi also increases. Once it is attained the saturation, this Ia and pi will be independent. So, the pi is almost constant. In that case, Ta is directly proportional to only Ia. Ta is equal to K into Ia. So, this is very similar to the equation of straight line. So, the curve also becomes the straight line after saturation. So, before saturation, the curve is parabolic. After saturation, the curve will be in a straight line. Now, we will go to the second characteristics, speed versus armature current. We know the relation N is directly proportional to Eb by pi, back M of, back M of and flux, inversely proportional to flux. But the back M of is given for a series motor V minus Ia into Ra plus Rsc, because the armature is connected in series with the field winding so that we can take Ra plus Rsc. So, Ra and Rsc is very small so that Ia, Ra plus Rsc drop is does not change much variation with the load. These two values are very very less. So, the totally this value this drop will be it will not is very less it will not vary with the load. So, that we can neglect the term 
IA into RA plus RAC because because of small drop. So EB is directly EB is equal to only B. The back EMF is proportional is equal to only the terminal voltage. This term is neglected. So that N is directly proportional to 1 by pi because this EB is, is B that is almost constant. The applied voltage is constant. So now see the relation when the speed and flux are inversely proportional. Right? When the flux increases, the speed all speed will decreases. Right? So that is given here. So in series motor, pi is directly proportional to IA. So that N is directly proportional to 1 divided by IA, this pi. This pi is now is pi is directly proportional to IA, so that we can replace this pi with the IA. Right? So N is inversely proportional to pi, but pi is proportional to IA, so that we can write N is directly proportional to 1 divided by IA or inversely proportional to IA. So when the armature current increases, the speed will decreases. As the load increases, the IA will increase and speed will decrease because both are inversely proportional. When the armature current increases, the speed of the motor will decrease. But when the when load is on the series motor is completely removed, IA falls to very low value and the speed is dangerously high. Because if you the load, if it is not started with the load, the IA is very low, less value so that the speed will be enormously very high. So that series motor should never started at the no load condition. It is always started with the loaded condition. The series motor is called variable speed motor and it is adjust the speed according to the load. It is according to the load. So that because if the IA falls to 0 very low value, this IA is proportional to flux. The flux and speed is inversely proportional. The flux is low, the speed will be uh, the speed will be infinite. N is directly proportional to 1 divided by pi. The pi is available in the denominator. If the pi value is lesser means N value will be very high. So that speed will be dangerous. So that it is always started with the loaded condition. If it is no load means IA falls to very low value, flux also very low, low value, the flux is very low mean the speed will be very high. Now we will go to the third characteristics N versus IA, speed versus armature torque. It is obtained from the above two plots, from the previous plot we can draw this speed versus armature torque. Now take the armature current equal to 1 ampere, find the corresponding value of Ta and N from the previous curve. Locate this plot point on the graph N versus Ta. Similarly, consider different values of Ia and obtain the values of Ta and N and plot on the same graph. So this will give the N versus Ta characteristics that is almost it is inversely proportional. This TA, when TA increases, the speed of the motor also decreases. When the torque increases, the speed will decreases. So the from previous two curve, by giving the different values, we can able to obtain this, the third curve, which is clearly given that it is inversely proportional. So in this video, we discuss about the, what are the characteristics of a DC motor, then characteristics of DC series motor, three different characters we discuss. Subscribe the channel for more videos. The soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.